Welcome back to the range and with your sports panelists, you got, of course, Wes and Chris. And here you got J.B. Brown. Bill Justice. And Cleveland Spears. So we're going to talk about starting off with NHL. Chris. Um, first and foremost, I want to give congratulations to my Blackhawks for advancing to the second round over the Predators in a 5-3 win. Um, it scared me at first a little bit, but you, you pulled it off, especially with the overtime win in the last game. But, um, you know, we had five people score. You know, we was pretty good. So um, um, I'm really happy for the Blackhawks. You know, it's not a disappointment season now since we made it out of the first round, and hopefully we can continue that. Well, I keep on going. And then um, you got the Bruins and the uh, Sabres. Uh, the Bruins won that. So they'll be playing the Flyers second round. Yep. So that should be an interesting uh, series. Yep. And you got the Canadians who beat the hell out of the Capitals. So, I mean, 4-1, so, which brings up a game seven for one eight seeds. So... Uh, what you what you what you think about those? Uh, obviously, I, in my opinion, hockey really has no real seeds because anybody can take it to the number one seed anyway. I mean, that's uh, Montreal is that's, that's what Montreal is uh, currently doing to uh, perhaps the most I say dominating player as far as uh, Alex Ovechkin. Um, Sidney Crosby to me is the best player, but the most dominating is Alex Ovechkin. But obviously, uh, Montreal they came ready to play and they took it to them. Um, Gotta give another shout out to uh, uh, the Buffalo Sabres. Obviously, they didn't. Un unfortunately, they didn't win. But I gotta give it up to uh, Ryan Miller, the Olympic goalie. Yeah. Uh, pretty much played his ass off the whole series. But unfortunately, he did not. He did not uh, get that much uh, help from his help from his uh, team. So they were unfortunately faltered. Um, the Bruins. Yeah, the Bruins uh, seem like a real deal team, and uh, also uh, uh, Phoenix and Detroit going seven games yes, as they well. Yeah. Play tonight. So, well, you got to remember the Coyotes are a lot better team since they got rid of Rain Gretzky as coach slash GM slash whatever the hell he wanted to be in that organization. So with them, with them getting rid of that, they kind of focus more just on playing hockey. Forget you know, forget focusing on Wayne Gretzky as part of that franchise. They, they got rid of him, kicked him out, and said, look, we are now focused on playing hockey. And, of course, you know, Detroit really isn't at that strong point as they were a couple of years ago when they were just running through the, you know, running the Stanley Cup playoff. This isn't that same team. Remember last year they did lose to uh, Pittsburgh, you know, the Penguins and Sidney Crosby. This year is, you know, it's looking like the Phoenix Coyotes could take that one. Yeah, I definitely think that the Phoenix will definitely take this game seven to uh, and play tonight. Uh, it's it's in Arizona, uh, and you know they do have it's you know like home court advantage doesn't matter as much. Uh, I think that just Phoenix playing at home gives them a much better edge than other NHL teams do, just because of a better fan support. Uh, but one series that I want to really focus on though is the Canadians and the Capitals. You know, I, I really, you, JB, you mentioned there that Alex Govechkin is the most dominating player in, in hockey. Right. You know, now, and, you know, I think that this, this thing about this is like, he should have shown up in game six. Um, you know, he really did not at all. You know, it was just uh, a terrible thing to do. And not only the fact that he didn't show up, but the Canadians actually did show up. Yeah. You know, their goalie, uh, Haslev, had almost. 60 saves in that game. 60 saves, that's, and he, he just totally put a brick wall in that net uh, for his team. And also, just on the offensive end as well for the Canadians, they just really took away that game from the Capitals. Yeah, they did. Especially for Ovechkin to have five shots and couldn't yeah. convert any. Right. I mean, eight shots. He had eight shots on goals, couldn't convert any. So, I mean, um, he, he really has to step it up. And just like Wes said, there's no such thing as home ice. So, <clears throat> as far as far as the Capitals, this would be an, uh, a big upset, especially because you know everybody always wants to see Ovechkin and Crosby play, and you know with the seeding that there is now, the only way they could play each other would be the next round. Would be uh, the next round. So I mean, that's what you want to see. But yeah, but everybody talking. Everybody talks about Alex Ovechkin. Let's remember he's just a one man team for that Washington Capitals team. There's nobody else in that team that kind of steps up. At least with Sidney Crosby, he has a couple players that can step up at any given game. Like, uh, you give me Mulkey. 
you know, Malkin, they're all, he's a really good backup, you know, I guess you can say a sidekick, really, to, uh, you know, to Sidney Crosby. So, I mean, Alex Ovechkin has no sidekick. Yeah. It's just him. If you can stop Alex Ovechkin, you have stopped the entire Washington Capitals team because they don't, nobody else in that team steps up at any given moment, whereas Sidney Crosby doesn't have to do the whole thing for the Penguins. Everybody else kind of brings it up and brings up, you know, kind of helps them out. Whereas Ovechkin has no help, period. Well, I think that, you know, it's like Chris said, he only, Ovechkin had only eight shots in that the entire game, on goal especially. You know, coming from the best, the most dominating player in the league, you need to have at least 20, maybe, and maybe 25 shots on goal throughout, uh, throughout an entire game, you know, to be that dominating player that the Capitals need. And I think that, I think that tonight, or whenever they play, do they play tonight or? Play tomorrow night. Play tomorrow night. I think tomorrow night Ovechkin will definitely at least get 30 shots. At least you know he has his his series is on the line, and this and I may be going on a limb here, but it could be Stanley Cup or bust, maybe. Yeah. Well, right. but, yeah. Well, yeah. But mind you, just take, <coughs> take this team is never a legitimate shot to win it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but because take they just always mess it up because of Ovechkin. True. That, that could be the case, but then again, you can take this into consideration. I mean, if it's a one-man team, usually one-man teams don't take over the number one overall seed, though. I mean, he's got to have some kind of help, though, if, yeah. he's, if they're the number one seed, though. He was the number one seed last year. Yeah, that means. And what happened last year? They lost because of a one-man team. It's easy for a guy to take over teams that are not going to make the playoffs. And when you're playing them in the middle of, you I mean, you're broken your season against teams that will not make the playoffs, for one, or will be in a different conference, you might as well just go ahead and just kind of send Ovechkin out there to kind of do this whatever he wants to do. When it comes to the playoffs, you can face a team that has, you know, good defensemen, you know, good guys, you know, good centers and stuff. I mean, there's nothing there's nothing you can do about that. If you got a guy that can shut down Alex Ovechkin and, and you don't have to worry about anybody else, it's easy to be a number one seed in the regular season and then bring out your big defensive plan in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. That's where the strategy comes into play. You know how to isolate Alex Kovechkin from getting the puck at any time. If you keep him at bay, then you have pretty much the game won. But I think that uh, Alex Kovechkin will be able to step up and actually get away from those defenders. Also, I think other, other players on this team will step up and kind of make a name for themselves to make him push that Capitals uh, into possibly a Stanley Cup for them. Yeah, I mean, it, it will be a... To me, it'll be a Stanley Cup or a bus season. I mean... Any, any, anytime you ever have the number one seed and you don't make it to at least the uh, finals, then, I mean, to me, it's, it's a bust season because that's letting you know that you're, you're the best team in the league, whoever you play. So, you know, and then, you know, the Capitals, they had 54 shot attempts while the Canadians only had 23. So, I mean, they have, they always, they usually shoot, have the most shot attempts, but they just, I guess the Canadian goalkeeper just, just played a hell of a game. And as far as the uh, Red Wings and the Coyotes, um, Coyotes are the favorite. I just looked at a poll and it said that the Coyotes are 54 to 46 favorite. I mean, the uh, Red Wings are 54 to 46 favorite to win. So who do you think winning that game tonight? I want to say the Coyotes. Uh, I think that after after winning Game Six, I think that they'll they'll carry that momentum going to Game Seven. And so it just. It, it seems that they're just a better, better team than Detroit is right now. Detroit still, a, they've lost a lot of players uh, from that from that team a couple of years ago, as you mentioned, in Cleveland. And it's just, they, I think the Coyotes are ready to step up at least into the next round. So I'm going to say Cap, or Coyotes. I'll go with Detroit. I mean, the last two years they've been into, the last two years they've been in the Stanley Cup Finals with Pittsburgh. They split each. But I'm going to go with Detroit mainly because no one's really giving them a shot this year, mainly because they're not the favorite. They're not the hands-on favorite. Because uh, they lost, they lost a ton mainly with uh, we all remember uh, Chris Chelios. He was one of the he was one of the best players to ever play hockey, and uh, he's uh, he's finally retired. So Detroit, I'm gonna go with them. I'm gonna go with Detroit mainly because they've been in more Game Seven situations, and I would explain more, but I don't have time. Yeah, I'm picking Coyotes. All right, we'll make more of on the range. Stay tuned.